Hey, what's up everyone? So I know it's been a couple weeks since I made my last video and the reason for that is because I've been trying to wait to make a video that would be really informative for you who have a Tesla or for those of you who may be thinking of getting one. And fortunately, but at the same time, unfortunately, I was able to think of the perfect video and that was what to do if your Tesla gets a flat tire. In this video, I'm gonna cover how it took me nine hours to get my Tesla flat resolved and how you can go about getting your Tesla flat fixed as fast as you can without having to deal with what I went through. So let's get into it, guys. All right, everyone. So let me just start this story by saying that I was not the one that got the flat tire. It was actually my partner, Christina. She was on her way to lunch with some of her coworkers. When she got back to her car from eating lunch, she noticed that uh, when she stepped into the car, the car gives you a little alert. It was saying that the uh, air pressure and some of the tires were very low and that they it was not like drivable. Um, so she kind of stepped out around the car and she noticed that the front right passenger tire was really low in air, um, really low in air and that basically the tire was on the floor it was completely flat so when this happened she kind of freaked out in that she had she had no idea what to do with the tesla because tesla's um as some of you may know this car does not have a spare tire so instead of normally just being able to uh, prop the car up for a little bit and change the tire in maybe 10 minutes uh, this car doesn't come with a spare tire so she kind of called me and she told me that she needed a little bit of help um, and so luckily I wasn't working that day and I was able to get down there in about 40 minutes, I would say. But from the time that she called me and in between that time that it took me to get there, I told her, oh, on the screen, it should show up um, t for you to call Tesla roadside assistance and let them know what's going on. And they should give you three options. So let me just start by saying that Tesla roadside assistance, as I told Christina to call initially, is the best way to deal with your flat tire because they will give you three options. They will either tow you to the nearest uh, Tesla service center or a, another tire shop that you like to go to as long as it's within 50 miles. They will give you a loaner tire and the loaner tire is basically like your regular tire that the car comes with, only that it is given to you for only a short period of time and then you eventually return that tire uh, at a tire at a Tesla service center. And then the next option is that they literally give you a new tire on the spot. In order for you to be offered these options, your car has to be under warranty and the warranty lasts four years or up to 50,000 miles, whichever comes first. That is the best option and the first thing that you should do. However, unfortunately, Christina did not really find the Tesla service number on the screen. Even though when you get the alert, it says at the very bottom, Tesla, um, roadside assistance and it gives you their number. Christina didn't see that on the alert for whatever the case may be and she ended up calling the Tesla insurance because that's our insurance company. The Tesla insurance is completely separate from the Tesla, uh, Tesla company itself or the Tesla warranty. Um, when you call Tesla insurance it's like calling your other insurance provider for a regular vehicle. It's like calling Allstate, AAA, any other insurance company. When we called them, they also offered to tow, but we ended up finding out, unfortunately, that this tow service is a lot slower than the Tesla roadside assistance, and I'll get to that in a little bit. So when she called Tesla insurance, they obviously asked her the basic questions like, oh, are you in a safe location? What's the issue with your car? What is your location? And what they did was they reached out to their partner tow companies, and that took about 25 minutes to hear back from them after our initial call. And they told us that somebody would get to our location within an hour to help us uh, tow to our destination. And we ended up putting the Tesla service center because we don't we didn't really have a, a preferred tire location to go to. So we ended up sending it at the Tesla service center. So we waited uh, about an hour and at that time I had already gone to Christina and that's when I noticed that she had called the wrong number. But at that time we were like, oh, she already called. They're going to be here in an hour. When we eventually get a call from the actual tow company that the Tesla insurance had contacted and they said that they didn't have a flat to pick up our car. And by a flat, it's basically just a kind of tow truck where instead of having the Tesla be towed on two wheels so that two wheels are up and two wheels are down, it picks up the whole car and the whole car is pretty much driven off. So I decided to stop out the car for a second, but the exact reasons that Teslas can't be towed 
normally isn't really said but it just i know that it brings damage to the car so when that guy reached out from the motor company that the tesla insurance had contacted he said that we couldn't be uh towed because they didn't have a tow truck with a flatbed to pick us up so we ended up having to reach out to tesla insurance again and by that time i had kind of already realized that we had called the wrong people so i told them that it's okay we didn't need uh, their service anymore and that we would reach out to another uh, tow company so and then that's when we actually called the tesla roadside assistance and then from there everything was a lot smoother they were able to bring out another tow truck i think in about 40 minutes and um, have our car towed up to 50 miles. We would have loved to have gotten a Tesla uh, loaner wheel on our car, um, but that unfortunately wasn't an option because when we asked about the option or when we asked the option to have the ch tire changed on the spot, he said that the tow comp like their towers were all booked already or like their tow people that had that service were all booked. So the only option was to tow it up to 50 miles. Uh, which was kind of upsetting because we would have liked to have had that problem fixed on the spot But unfortunately that wasn't the case so um, they got there in about an hour and Within that hour is when I realized that Tesla kind of charges a lot for its tires for a continental tire fully installed at the Tesla service center they were trying to charge about 350 something dollars total, um, which was ridiculous. When we eventually got our Michelin tire that we have on the wheel on the car now, uh, they were charging about 215 and to fully install it, it would come out to 275 about. Good thing is that the company of which we bought the Michelin tire for it actually came with a warranty, but when you get your tire from the Tesla service center, it does not come with any warranty. So if you get a flat the very next day, you are out of luck. Or if your uh, tread on the tire itself is worn out really fast, then you are also out of luck because the car, that tire does not come with any warranty. So after I realized and had already dispatched the other tow truck from the Tesla warranty to come out and get us, uh, I had initially set it to tow us to the Tesla service center, but after I realized that that would be the price for just one tire with no warranty, I kind of thought that was ridiculous. So I kind of scrambled to find out where I could get a tire for cheaper and I ended up calling Costco. So when I, cost, I called Costco and I initially asked about the tire, he said that they can get the tire out there in a day and that I would be able to leave my car parked in their parking lot and then they would change the tire and then I'd be on my way. When I realized that I quickly called the Tesla um, roadside assistance and I told them if I can change the destination because when you call initially you have to tell them where you're trying to go. Uh, so I changed my destination and then they ended up towing it to the Costco. However when I got to the Costco this I guess is a very special tire that not a lot of tire center service centers have. So even though I initially called and asked if they would have the tire in a day and they said yes, that ended up not being the case. They said that no Costco's had this tire in stock and that it would take, it was a Thursday and it would take till the minimum Tuesday of the following week to get the tire. Um, also, just to throw in this information, uh, when we were at Costco, he was also concerned if the tire that was on the car had a um, kind of buffer or some foam lining inside of it to reduce the noise, uh, wind noise when you're on highways and streets. Um, I haven't really figured out much information about that, but that also made it difficult to find a tire that would fit this car because he wasn't really sure about that. Um, so bottom line was that they weren't able to get the tire till Tuesday and we had already had the car towed there. So he said I could technically leave the car there from Thursday to Tuesday, but that there is no security there and it honestly wasn't in the best area. So we did not want to do that. Given by this time, uh, when Christina initially called me, it was around 11 and it took um, from canceling the initial uh, Tesla insurance company tow truck to getting our new tow truck, it was already four uh, in the afternoon. So it took from 11 to four for all that to 
get settled and towed to that Costco. So from the Costco, what we ended up doing was calling our Tesla insurance company again because we didn't get towed initially, so that tow should still be free, and we did not want to leave the car at that Costco for so long. So we went through that whole process again, only this time instead of having to wait an hour for the tow truck, it literally took three hours to get that tow because it was during traffic hour and they had a lot of other people waiting to get towed. The tow truck got there to that Costco, towed it to the Tesla service center where we decided to get a loaner tire to have the tire changed at another service center because it would come with a warranty and it'd be cheaper. And then we ended up taking that loaner tire we got from Tesla back to the service center. So that was a ridiculously long story to tell. Um, as you can see, we kind of ended up using all of our options. We called the Tesla roadside assistance. We called the Tesla insurance and used both of them. Both of those which were free of charge. One, because the Tesla uh, falls under the warranty. The other, because we have the Tesla insurance which covers uh, roadside assistance as well. So luckily all that was free. The only thing we had to pay for was the actual tire itself, which we got at Discount Tires. Um, for a lot cheaper price, it was a better tire. It was a Michelin tire and they got that tire within uh, two days. So it was uh, faster. And at that Discount Tire, we also got insurance for all the other wheels that uh, was like 30 bucks, but just in case there's a flat, uh, we can take it to the discount tire and they can either fix it, try to repair it, or if they can't, they will change the tire for, uh, for free because that's what comes with that warranty. All this to say is that this can be a potential big downside to buying a Tesla. Um, I know I'm very positive in these videos that I make to you guys because I had never honestly come up with something I didn't like about the Tesla, but unfortunately uh, this happened to me and I would say that this is a big negative. Uh, because what if say I was out camping in the middle of nowhere and with poor reception uh, How long would Tesla re Tesla roadside assistance even take to get out there because I said that Tesla roadside assistance was a lot faster than the insurance But even then it took them about 40 minutes to get out to me um, So how long would that really take if I was in the middle of nowhere? Uh, if and if I didn't have a spare tire. So this was a pretty bad experience that I hope to not really have with my Tesla in the future. Uh, if you guys want to know more details or specifics about this story that I just told, let me know in the comments. I hope this video was useful for you. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It really helps me a lot in seeing what kind of videos you guys like to see. And uh, the subscribe button also helps. So thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned.